Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Red Essence and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate your time and your viewership. It means a lot. And in today's episode, I have the pleasure of talking to you about a fragrance that I recently discovered a few months ago. This one by the company Michael Malou London is called Citizen Jack Open Road. So make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin my fragrance review on Citizen Jack Open Road, I know I've done a video on Citizen Jack Absolute, which was discontinued for a while, but now they have it back in stock. I think that's an awesome fragrance. I do wanna mention that if you are a fan of fragrance-related content, if you like fragrance reviews here on YouTube, but also top 10 videos, giveaways, unboxing, special guests, and more, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner, and of course, while you're at it, please be sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell icon. I also wanna mention that if you are interested in learning about new updates from the brand Michael Malou London, I'm gonna leave their Instagram page down below, so definitely make sure to follow them on Instagram, also, if you do utilize the code RADOLESCENCE upon checkout of any product from their official website, it is guaranteed to give you the best price possible. And the cool thing that they just started doing is they actually have travel sprays with free shipping within the United States for many of their fragrances. I'm actually going to leave the complete list down below so you know what fragrances are available in the travel sprays. And yes, the coupon code RADOLESCENCE is also eligible for those as well. So you definitely get bang for your buck. So they have the original Citizen Jack. They also have Citizen Jack Open Road, uh, which is the one that we're going to be talking about today. And they have Citizen Jack, um, the one that I mentioned earlier, the other flanker of it, which I find to be a little bit darker, a little deeper and richer. This one is actually quite bright. So this one has the citruses. It has ginger. There are also some notes in here that I'm picking up on that are not listed in the note breakdown. And then you have this underlying sweetness in the base with the vanilla and the tonka bean. But I find it to be a pretty complex fragrance, one that in my opinion is superb for the spring and summer. Definitely the type of fragrance that you want to wear right around this time of the year. So I'm certainly excited to give you my thoughts on this fragrance. Let's start things off with the presentation. So this fragrance opens up very bright, fresh, zingy, refreshing. It has the citrus in here. I'm getting a bit of bergamot. I'm also getting maybe a little bit of lemon from it too, but I'm also getting that ginger note in the opening, which is very zingy and zesty. And it's adding, in my opinion, the perfect amount of fresh spice to the fragrance. And that combination, of course, has been done before, but it never fails. Every time I smell that ginger and citrus combination, it's like, the perfect introduction to a fresh type of a fragrance, which in my opinion, that's kind of what this is. And so it does kind of evoke this adventurous feel. And I think that that's also part of the ad campaign for the fragrance. You think of a name like Open Road, you're kind of like on the road, you're traveling and you're hiking perhaps. So with this fragrance, it opens up in this very adventurous and energizing blend of citrus and ginger. And then it transitions into a heart containing a note that's not necessarily listed in the note breakdown, but I'm picking up on it. There's a little bit of lavender in here. And I think it's the lavender in here that's kind of reminding me of fragrances like Versace the Dreamer or Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mans, but this one is so much brighter and so much fresher than both of those two fragrances combined. And so it has that sort of lavender feel in the heart and that kind of conveys this gentlemanly quality and aura about the fragrance and it's used in a very tasteful concentration. And then I, I know I looked at the note breakdown and it has juniper in here. And perhaps there's a little bit of like an astringent quality or like a woodsy quality that's coming from the juniper. And I also see the vanilla and the tonka bean in the base. And yeah, there's something a little bit sweet in here, but it's not overwhelmingly sweet. And I don't think the sweetness ever supersedes the brightness of the opening. You know, that citrusy quality with the ginger is really the star player as far as the uh, composition is concerned. I feel like that opening will really lure you in. It's really magnetic in that sense. I think if I had to make a comparison between this fragrance and any other fragrance, it would probably be Luna Rosa Sport by Prada. 
I have smelled a few other fragrances like Oudin by Zerzhov, perhaps even Oudin Overdose that are kind of reminding me of this a little bit. And I only say that in the regard that it has that bright citrus, but then there's also something in here that's kind of reminding me a little bit of Tobacco Blossom. And so it has this very clean, smooth tobacco vibe in here. And I suppose that that's also kind of what is reminding people of Versace's The Dreamer, which is also another tobacco-based fragrance, but definitely on the cleaner side. But in my opinion, nobody has made this comparison before. If I had to compare it to anything, it would probably be Prada Luna Rosa Sport. But I personally find this to be on the fresher side. And that's one of the reasons why I think this is great for an office setting. This is great for the spring and summer. It can be worn very comfortably when it's warm outside. It also has a high compliment factor because it doesn't tinker around or flirt with some of these darker notes that could be a little bit challenging or intimidating for some people. It's definitely very heavy hitting and very reliant on the citrus and the ginger. And so it's a very accessible formula. It's a very likable perfume. And it's one that I personally enjoy wearing. And it's one that I certainly do see myself wearing a bit more in the spring and summer, especially in the summer because the citrus is really strong in the top here. But ultimately, I find this to be a very well composed fragrance. I think it's rather linear, but that's not a knock on the fragrance at all. Sometimes when you have that freshness in the opening, which in the case of most fragrances is short lived, there's still something here with the ginger and perhaps some fresh notes in the heart and in the base that almost give it the impression of the citrus lasting well into the base, which is such an awesome thing that some fragrances do. And not all fragrances have the capability of doing that. And so when I do come across a fragrance that does that I definitely have admiration for it but this is an awesome fragrance especially if you are a fan of fragrances like Versace's The Dreamer or Prada Luna Rosa Sport and you want to get let's say a travel atomizer or of any of their fragrances on the website I don't believe this one is available in the travel atomizer just yet uh, but they do have a lot of really great deals going on at their website and of course like I said if you utilize the code RedAlescence upon checkout, you are guaranteed to get the best discount possible from the website. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk to you about the smell. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, I know I mentioned like a bunch of designer fragrances earlier on in this video. I mentioned Le Mans by Jean-Paul Gaultier, I mentioned Prada Luna Rosa Sport, I mentioned Versace the Dreamer, Oud and Overdose, so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, those were uh, frames of reference just to put you in the mindset of the olfactory territory that this fragrance is in. At the end of the day, it is its own fragrance. It still has a certain level of uniqueness about it, which I really appreciate. And like I said, I think it's a very likable formula, perfect for an office setting, definitely conveying that maturity with that hidden lavender note that I perceive in here. And it's a very well done fragrance all the way around. In terms of the longevity, you can expect about seven to eight hours on your skin. Of course, you're going to get the juniper, the vanilla, and the tonka bean that is really resolute on the skin. And uh, you know, the ginger and the citrus really won't last after a couple of hours or so, but you're definitely still gonna be able to pick up on like that faux tobacco leaf lavender vibe that I spoke about earlier. And so it has pretty decent longevity. In terms of the projection, it radiated within an arm's length for the first two hours of application, and it didn't start to sit closer to the skin until about that six to six and a half hour mark. So the projection for this one is also pretty good given the concentration. In terms of the versatility, I know this is marketed for men, and there's definitely something in here that leans a little bit masculine with the juniper, the ginger, uh, and perhaps some of those other notes that are not listed in the note breakdown that I happen to discuss. I think this one is perfect for any time of the year, as a matter of fact, especially if you're wearing it indoors. But myself personally, I'd be more inclined to wear this one in the spring and summer. And I think this one can be worn casually as well as formally as well on account of like that lavender tobacco blossom vibe that I spoke about before. And the citrus, whenever it's added in a fragrance and it makes its presence known, it always adds a refined quality to the fragrance in my opinion anyway. In terms of the presentation, I like the different coloration and the graphics among the different boxes. So my final verdict on this fragrance is if you are a fan of fragrances like Prada Luna Rosa Sport, Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mans, Versace The Dreamer, you want something very bright and fresh and zingy with this combination of citrus and ginger in the opening, something that is likely to get you compliments and something that would work great when you're surrounded by other people, if you're in a close encounter environment, especially in office setting, I think this one will do very, very well for you. 
This one, once again, has been Citizen Jack Open Road by Michael Malou London, the most adventurous offering from the Citizen Jack lineup. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope you took something of value from this video. If you did, please do consider showing your support by subscribing to this channel. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner. And of course, while you're at it, please make sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell icon. This way, whenever I do put out these videos, they will get delivered straight to your feed. You never need to worry about missing any of my future uploads. Thanks again for watching. Love you all. We'll see you soon. Bye.